All right, how's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenzo. Thanks for checking out my channel. So, a lot of times I do videos before I work out, during my workouts, or after. Let me set this up here. And I like to uh, express what's on my mind, uh, whatever I'm thinking about, or exactly the way I feel. So, I think a lot of people that work out start to get fatigued or they get tired at the end of their workouts at the gym. And I'm here to tell you that happens to a lot of people. You're not alone there. And one of the reasons I think this happens is because of our nutrition, obviously, sleeping patterns and many other things. But I also think what people don't realize is if you're truly kicking it in the ass, uh, you're going to feel a lot of times when you leave the gym exhausted, especially if you do uh, you know, some high level workouts and then I go into the sauna for like 10 to 15 minutes. This sauna is a goddamn beast. It's one of the hottest in the country. Where am I at? The LA Fitness in Bolingbrook. So it's a beast. But even yesterday, I did a bunch of uh, weightlifting and I did some swimming and I left and I was pretty fatigued and I like that. So what I also think people got to realize is you got to understand that being fatigued sometimes at the end of the workout is not a bad thing. You're tired because you really put a lot of effort into it, especially if you're working out, say, at night because you had a long day already. So don't think that, you know, like something's wrong with you because maybe sometimes you'll work out after your workouts, you'll feel great, you'll feel inspired, you're full of piss and vinegar, you walk out of here and you're ready to party, whatever the case may be. Other days, even at the beginning of your workout, during your workout, or even after, you're exhausted, you're tired, you're burnt out. That's gonna happen, I'm gonna tell you right now. I always talk about this. I don't know if you've watched any of my other videos, you're gonna have good days of working out, bad, good weeks, Bad weeks, good months, bad months, and so on. But you gotta take the good with the bad, right? Hold on a sec, I'm hot. I'm starting to kick my ass. So just realize too, that when you are fatigued at the end, now pay attention though, if you are starting to get dizzy, or you know, if you're getting very exhausted where you're getting home or you're falling asleep at the wheel or that type of shit, you gotta watch yourself, obviously. I'm talking common sense here when feeling tired or fatigued at the end of the workout. And I'm also gonna mention one more thing. A lot of times people don't realize too is their workouts may be too long or they're trying to fit in too much. And I've done that many times. I've tried, I, I, I always do weightlifting for the most part, but then I was trying to squeeze in a ton of cardio. And I was also honestly doing other physical activities besides my workout sometimes. And even if it was say moving for a week or helping someone do something that was physical labor driven, and then you're coming in the gym and then you know, you're exhausted, that is going to happen. I really believe that no matter what age you are to a certain point. Sure, when you're younger, you have a lot more energy. Also study and see a lot of times what works best for you when working out. I did another video on this called, uh, you may be working out at the wrong time of day. Cause some people don't realize that maybe you know, working out later at night, for instance, they just don't have the energy anymore. But then again, maybe working out in the morning, you may be too exhausted, you know, waking up too early. You got to kind of find a balance that works for you. All right. So really pay attention to that. Because if you are, if you're really at the end of the workouts, every workout and you're exhausted or you're fighting to get through it, uh, you're getting dizzy or you're just, just overly tired or, you know, just burnt out. Again, it, it may be obviously what I just discussed earlier. Also, the location that you're at too may be draining you. And I also did a video on that as well. It's basically uh, the facility that you're working out in may be kind of destroying you. Because I think what happens a lot of time, people start working out or doing different types of exercises or going to different gyms that aren't inspiring them or exhausting them, or they just don't fit in with what they're doing. My daughter did that with a lot of boot camps, exhausted her and injured herself. So pay attention to that as well. But I'm going to finally wrap it up and just say if you are fatigued at the end or you're tired, sometimes that's a good thing. Push yourself. And remember, there's always another day. There's always going to be another workout. All right. Got this guy behind me in blue. All right. Nice. All right. If you get a chance, check out my podcast, The Rich Trollenza Show, WTF, are you talking about? I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All right. You get a chance. Subscribe as well. Take care.